The NUS Solar House utilizes passive design strategies to minimize its energy requirements and respond to the intensity of the tropical heat. The design features a protective skin that wraps around the main spaces, minimizing the solar heat gain and providing a large surface area for solar harvesting. A central spine is then introduced and articulated to divide the public and private areas of the house. The exterior decking allows access to all parts of the house and creates a connection between the public and private spaces. The public areas are located on the south end of the house, while the private areas are located on the north. Feature walls, vegetation and a service room shields the house from solar exposure from the east and the west. All of the home's essential mechanical components are located in the service room, allowing for easy access and maintenance. Large windows in the living room extend the internal space and natural daylight is brought in through a combination of double glazed skylights and windows, reducing the need for artificial lighting. Occupants can relax and enjoy the outdoors while still being shaded by timber louvers and the secondary skin. The feature wall provides privacy as well as shading for the patio. The bedroom serves a dual purpose, a study area by day and a rest area by night. With a foldable bed that converts into a desk, the user has a flexible space to work in that transforms to his or her needs. The pedagogy corridor serves as the information hub of the house and separates the public and private areas. As an educational showcase of PV system technology, our house uses two different strategies to demonstrate the efficiency of solar panels. The north array utilizes a single axis tracking mechanism, while the south array is fixed at an optimized tilt. In a conventional system, direct current from PV panels is converted to alternating current to feed the grid. Power is then drawn from the grid for normal usage. This conversion from DC to AC may have considerable energy loss. However, through the integration of a low voltage direct current, or LVDC, this conversion process is eliminated, and by using DC appliances and fixtures, the house is able to operate more efficiently with minimal energy wastage. Underfloor heating is used to complement the HVAC system in maintaining thermal comfort. Hot water provided by the solar thermal panels circulates through pipes installed under the floor finish to provide radiant heating to all living spaces. Grey water from the sinks and dishwasher is channeled into a grey water filtration tank that is integrated within the corridor. The transparent tank exposes the various layers of gravel and sand needed for effective filtration. The informative monitor embedded in the corridor wall provides real-time updates of the various systems and design strategies that the house incorporates. This makes users more aware of the impact of their energy consumption. Through the integration of architectural and engineering systems applied to the tropical context, our house demonstrates an adaptable model of a sustainably modern solution that achieves zero energy.